Hello and welcome to Numbering Sheet Sets using ID8 Apps and Renumber. My name is Glynis Platterson and thanks for watching. In this video, we'll show how ID8 Renumber can be used to quickly add the page number to a sheet set so that we can meet a building permit requirement so that it shows a 1 of 200, 2 of 200, etc. Our methodology will be to first create a Revit sheet list and ensure that the checked by parameter is included. Then we'll run the rule in ID8 Apps Renumber to update all of them at once. And last, we'll edit the title block family so that we can display this new value within our title block. Let's see how. Our first step is to edit a sheet list. In this example, I'm using a sample file that ships with Revit. You can find the sample files by going to File, Open, and going to the Sample folder. And I'm using the project called Commercial Sample Project. In this project, there already is a sheet list, and all we need to do is add one additional property because the rule that we're going to be using leverages this particular property called checked by. You can later change this to be your own custom parameter if you need. So once we've done that, the next step is to launch renumber. And to load the rule that we need. The rule in question is actually one of our bonus rules. So you can hit this button to get to see all of the rules in the project. Uh, it's not here, so we're going to use the import. And you'll see here I'm in the basic rules folder. So these have been all imported. But I want to go to this bonus rule folder. And this is the rule that we're going to leverage. And you can see uh, that this particular rule is set up to fill in this particular built-in parameter. And again, later you can set your own shared parameter if you prefer. So once we have that rule loaded, we can uh, all we need to do is fill in the total number. So in this example, it's easy for me to see that there's four. So I'm going to type in four. Accept changes, and you can see that it's filled in this value over here. Uh, in your project, there's probably more than four sheets, so you will perhaps benefit from having the grand total, totals listed so that you can always know what number to plug in there. The last step is to edit your title block. In this example, go ahead and pick the title block, edit the family, and if we're happy using the, the checked by, we can leave this label as is, and then all we need to do is change this. So I might write sheet number. This is just a piece of text in this particular title block. If I want to use my, uh, my own shared parameter, I would edit here and pick from my own shared parameter over here and swap that out. I'm not going to do that here. Go ahead and load in that, and then we see that we get the result here. Now, what happens if we have more sheets later on? So let's go ahead and open our Sheet Manager tool here. Let's see, we've got a ceiling plan and maybe an area plan that we want to also add to our set here. So I'm going to select these, right-click, and turn those into sheets, maybe based on this existing floor plan sheet so that they're lined up with this one. So now I have a total of six sheets and I'll want to uh, renumber the sheets again. So I do need to be in the sheet list. Here you can see there's six now. And I'll go ahead, use the rule. And we're good. Oops, I didn't do this. Let me do that. There we go. And so that's how you can achieve your goal here and make the permitting group happy and move onward. This workflow is just one of the many ways that Renumber can be used to save you time on your Revit projects. ID8 Renumber is just one of nine tools that form ID8 Apps, a collection of Revit productivity tools by ID8 Software. We hope you enjoy this, and if you want to learn more about our offerings, please visit us online at www.idiotsoftware.com. Thanks for watching.